Hey guys, welcome to Gizmo Times. This is Chetan Bhavani and this is the Realme One. Realme is a new brand that is the sub-brand of Oppo. Oppo is known for uh, those smartphones in the mid-range category around 20,000 rupees. And this one comes with a competitive pricing. And this sits right against the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro, and a few other phones just like uh, the Honor 7X and others in the price range of rupees 10 to 15,000. Although this has a similar design to how the Oppo F7's black edition was, the black, diamond black. But there's a lot of differences when you talk about the actual material that is used here and also with a few other things. But to begin with, the design is almost the same and the size also is the same when you compare that to the Oppo F7. The phone comes with a 6 inch 1080 into 2160, that's an 18 inch standard resolution display and that's similar to again the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Asus Zenfone Max Pro. It doesn't come with that notch which was present on the Vivo V9 or the Oppo F7. And that is where it uses some of the space on the top for the camera, the earpiece as well as for the sensors and towards the bottom there's a chin. But on the back is what is uh, very interesting on this phone. It comes with diamond cuts and that would give a different reflection whenever you try to uh, show the phone and have a different angle every time. Whenever there's light falling on the back, you see that there are different radiants for those diamond cuts here. And it's not a fully glass or a fully polycarbonate, it's a mixture of both where you see a fiber reinforced glass uh, placed on the back. So it can be still prone to scratches uh, but we cannot confirm that because uh, we've been using this phone for about two days and there's nothing as such so far. And on the back you can clearly see the branding of Oppo because Oppo clearly wants to mention that this is their sub brand and you'll be getting the support after sales service everything from their own service centers. Talking about the other specifications, uh, one of the main ones is the presence of the Helio P60 chipset from MediaTek which was the same one present on the Oppo F7. So this gives this phone a very good performance uh, when it, you talk about the regular usage or while gaming as well. And apart from that this comes with different variants, 3GB to 6GB of RAM that's 3, 4 and 6 and for that the storage as well is 32, 64 and 128GB of storage. All of these phones are priced below 15,000 rupees which makes them very competitive. For the camera combination, that is where uh, there's some compromise done from the Oppo F7 but also there will be some disadvantage against the other phones because this comes with a 13 megapixel rear camera and that's a single lens camera. You don't see a dual lens setup here and even on the front there's only an 8 megapixel camera. Although Oppo says that there's an AI beautification and the artificial intelligence help in recognizing the scenes around you when you take selfies and they'll also change the uh, color tone. Also there'll be many points on the face that will be recognized and then the beautification will be done. But in the end you don't see that dual lens camera so the portrait mode won't work both on the front and the back. Although there's a mode for both the cameras given for the portrait or what you call as the depth effect. When it comes to the battery the phone comes with 3400 mAh battery and uh, this about a day of battery life that is promised here but again when you compare this to the 4000 mAh battery of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro or the 5000 mAh battery on the Asus Zenfone Max Pro this might seem a bit low. One thing that you have to note here is that there's no fingerprint sensor on the front or back so that is one point that is missing here and the company has given you the face unlock for you to do the security part or you can use the regular ways of either the password pin or pattern. Now coming back to the design a few comment uh, the connectivity ports that are given here include the micro USB port towards the bottom, the 3.5 headset jack, microphone as well as the speaker grill all towards the bottom. On the left are the volume rocker buttons, on the top there's nothing and on the right is a power button alongside the SIM tray that gives a dedicated micro SD card slot alongside two SIM card slots. So this is it about uh, the specifications of the phone and also the design part of it. Now let's unbox the device. So this is the box package, uh, the red color here and uh, inside this uh, the first thing that you notice is this uh, box that would give you uh, a rubber case uh, that uh, helps protect the sides of the phone and also the back. And after that there are a couple of booklets alongside the SIM ejector tool and the booklets are the information guide as well as the quick guide to start using the phone. Apart from that there's only two other accessories that's uh, the travel adapter that comes with the 5 2 way output and finally there's this micro USB cable which indicates that the phone has the micro USB connectivity and not the USB type C. Also again when you talk about the other phones in this price range it's only the Xiaomi Mi A1 that had the USB type C connectivity and the other phones still have the micro USB. And uh, rather a disappointment that you don't have that quick charger given in the box because it's a 5 2 a one although the MediaTek Helio P60 is said to have faster charging support. And one advantage in this price range is that you don't find phones with dual 4G SIM slots and that is what is given in the Realme 1 that is from Oppo and 
uh, it's only the Asus Zenfone Max Pro so far that has the same dual 4G support in its smartphone. So uh, these are a few things to note about uh, the Realme One. Although in the coming videos we'll be doing, doing the comparison with the different phones such as these. Uh, we'll be doing the comparison with the Honor 7X, uh, the Asus Zenfone Max Pro as well as with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. So you'll know how good the phone is when compared to all these three because it lies in the same price range. And also we'll be doing a quick comparison with the Oppo F7 to let you know whether this is uh, quite a big of a downgrade, a downgrade from that device or not. So this was the unboxing and hands-on with the Realme One from Oppo. I hope you like this video. Do share if you like it and subscribe to this channel for more. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.